I arrived back in Australia three days ago. Yep, three days ago. Gary Crew, we set up for takeoff. And I'm in Sydney. I made it. From the airport. This is unreal. Everything is unreal. Looks very nice. I just received pizza. What the heck? So I thought it would be interesting for a lot of people just to see what it's like to experience a free quarantine. 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 And to share my experience, what the procedure was like at the airport, how I got here, and just what the everyday life is in quarantine in this hotel in the middle of Sydney. So I'm staying at Sydney Wentworth Sophie Town. So the reason why I'm here is because I came from overseas and ever since um, two weeks ago, the government has announced that everybody coming back to Australia from overseas would need to be quarantined, not only at home, which is self-isolation, but even in a hotel. Sophie Town is a five-star hotel which is incredible to think about that it's actually paid for. So, this is the bed. This is like a reading chair, I guess. I'm just gonna sit there for the rest of the two weeks. And a freaking balcony. Is there anyone today? Toilet paper? Like, what is all of this? This is the TV where I can watch Netflix and trashy reality TV in Australia, which I love, <coughs> not really. And then, look at this, like, I've never seen so many bathroom products. Like, come on, vitamin B5 skin lotion, rosemary and cinnamon bark. Like, what the heck? Um, shower, very nice mirror, and the toilet, very interesting. Oh, and then we have a mini fridge, like, what? This is amazing. And then we even have a tea or coffee room. I tried to clean my stuff. There was a sponge and like dishwashing powder that I left in a bathroom so I can clean out my stuff. Try to use this. I flew in from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and I was extremely lucky because it was one of the only flights still going to Australia. The plane wasn't really full of course but there were still a few people, quite a few people coming back to Sydney. So the way it worked once we arrived at the airport in the plane we had to wait for like 20 or 30 minutes. Obviously the captain and the crew announced the situation in case anyone didn't know that. Um, that you had to go into a hotel, but they had all people that arrived at the airport on the list So there were only like one or two flights that morning and then you were able to get onto a bus So there were three two or three buses waiting. I got onto the first one because I was a single traveler and Then they took us to the hotel here and then one of the hotel staff led you to your room And they put me in here. That's how I got here Let's see how it goes. So upon arriving here, I received this information. So obviously in all of Australia they'd have tons of different hotels even in each city where our regulations would be different. So this only applies to this hotel. This is already like three days old but at the time 
the 9th of April, there had been 50 people dead in Australia due to COVID-19 and around 6,000 people infected. It's still quite low compared to other countries, of course. I get three daily meals and they offer catering for special diets, such as vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free and diabetic guests. So as I'm vegan myself, I'm very grateful. I have to say that the food so far was amazing. The one thing that's bothering me is that everything comes in plastic containers which you need to throw away because obviously they don't want to wash stuff because it can, could contain or could be contaminated by the virus should we be infected. They allow you to buy groceries from Woolworth, Coles or Aldi which are the leading supermarket chains here and it can be delivered to your door. You can also get parcels from relatives or friends. You can't go out of this room at all. I can only open the door when I want to get food. The hotel service just knocks on the door and then a few seconds later I can open the door, get my parcel, close the door again and eat it inside here. And every evening I just leave out my rubbish outside the door. So those are the only times that I'm allowed to open the door. And it's just for like two seconds. So basically I'm just stuck in this room. So I was just about to lay down when it knocked on the door and then this arrived. Like, come on, th this is too much. And inside, Almond Breeze Barista Blend. Like I haven't looked in this yet, so this is new for me too. You can select what you want. That's crazy. What else do we have here? Your cleaning cutlery. Wow, teas. English breakfast with almond milk. Freaking amazing. And then the actual food. Vegan carrot and chia cake. Ooh. That looks amazing. And then the actual meal. Honestly, absolutely love it. Like fresh stuff. That's actually what I'm craving right now. I still can't really believe it because it's just unreal to be here. <laughs> the only contact that you have with the hotel is basically when they knock on your door for your meals and you get a call once a day. Uh, around in the morning or midday where there's the doctor or a nurse from this hotel actually calling just to check out how you're doing um, the call is always like 10 seconds uh, so I don't think you'll get tested if you don't show any symptoms but should you feel unwell there's always someone there 24 7 which is just good to know so that's basically how it works here to read. I mostly have the door open just to let fresh air in during the day. I can chill on the balcony, calling friends and family, and if there's nothing else to do, obviously watch TV. So this is still the first day. Just slept for like three or four hours, and it feels like I've been here for ages. It's weird. They knock every time they bring this, and then you get a new bag this time. We have vegan raspberries. Look at that. So here's the official statement of the state, New South Wales. Hotel quarantine started on March 29th and they will go on until the 24th of June at least. So that's a long time. That's like three months. Good morning. It's a new day. 
I received my breakfast around, what was it, like 8.30, like 40 minutes ago, and I already got my tea, I got some wheat bix I can't quite believe it, but it says vegan, it's an actual croissant. Thank you. That's lunch already, I'll show you. So, just got my lunch. So, welcome to the second day of quarantine here in Sydney. Two out of 14. Um, today, I have been looking for this. I've got fruit salad. What is that? We have vegan meal. What is this? I can't open it. Ooh, nice. I haven't had pasta in a long, long time. So that's nice. And like a cucumber tomato salad. Hello there. <laughs> Are you the guy with the numbers in the window? Yes. <laughs> but no one's been longer than four days. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So I just received my dinner. And let's start with the dessert. Vegan cannelli. I don't know what cannelli is, but that looks awesome. And then we have potatoes. Baked potatoes, bread, and risotto. I just received pizza. What the heck? Freaking amazing. So happy Easter everyone. This is too nice. This is what I got. Unfortunately it's all milk chocolate, but it's the act that counts, so I'll keep them and I'll give them to my family. And I just got lunch, which looks amazing. And I even got a muffin, chocolate muffin. So good. This is day five, or day six, I believe. And I'm just, I was just about to open the balcony door. And then I heard someone playing the guitar. Baby, let's stay together. Thank you, guys. It is now the 21st of April and I'm allowed to leave in one and a half days. So from Thursday morning on, we're all allowed to leave. We should be out by 10 a.m. So it's been good so far. Um, I'm still alive, I'm still sane. I thought it would be more difficult, but I've been really lucky to be in this place. And right now actually, they're building up a stage like a freaking real stage because um, they're gonna have live music tonight which I already had one night um, but they're gonna have it again as a kind of farewell so that's really nice and I'll show you that and then pretty much I'll be out in two days crazy <laughs>